This podcast is not rated. Listener discretion advised. Welcome to the Mission 250 Film Cast, where we are watching all of the top 250 movies of all time, according to IMDb. Today is number 244, which is Roman Holiday. It was directed by William Wyler. The premise of the movie is a bored and sheltered princess escapes her guardians and falls in love with an American newsman in Rome. Uh, this movie came out in 1953. I am one of your hosts, Denny, and joining me are... John. And TC. And uh, it is TC's turn to give us general impressions (sighs) first. What did you think, TC? So it took me three times to watch it once. Nice. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Did you have to, did you like start over it? I just couldn't watch it. I couldn't watch it. No, no, I didn't start. I I, I did a layer approach. (laughs) So like I went, you know, made it as far as I could the first time, turned it off, came back, rewound. It's a couple minutes to what I remembered last and then watched it from there and then made it another bit and turned it <laughs> off again. And then uh, finally just finished it right before. The, <laughs> so before you the loved podcast. it is what you're saying. I couldn't yeah. stand it. No, <laughs> uh, not at all. I was, this movie was brutal for me. I did not like this Aww. movie. Um, I, it was, you know, I, it's kind of cool. It's set in Italy and. And uh, I don't know. Yeah, the first thing it says is it's the first, uh, the entire thing was filmed in uh, Rome, which is cool. Right. Right. Well, it, it's the first to have been done so in, for a Hollywood film or no? Or it, yes, it was just proud first of the American fact, film really? to be filmed entirely in uh, in Italy, I think. Wow. Nice. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. Although black yeah. and white doesn't do it for me. So I couldn't, I mean, I, I was just watching regular old, it could have been anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, I don't know. I, wasn't, I, mean, I don't know. I wasn't. This one didn't. This one didn't go over so well for me. I was not paying attention uh, at all. John, what but, did you uh, think? Did you have similar thoughts? Uh, no, I actually enjoyed it. Go on. Silence. Go on. Expound <laughs> upon it. Yeah, expound upon that. I, I'm gonna sandwich I, your goodwill. I'm gonna sandwich it. I'll go after you. Yeah, I guess so. Is this gonna be? <laughs> I'm a little scared. Um. So no, I, I, I actually so found it pretty pretty funny. I liked I liked the relationship. I liked the way they resolved the whole thing. I thought actually that was pretty pretty cool the way that the whole thing ended. There was any number of ways I was thinking that uh, they could have worked the uh, movie could have ended, and I would have been pretty unhappy. But I actually thought they did a, a really cool way. Hmm. Um, I really thought that um, they were fun to watch. I thought both Gregory Peck and Audrey Hepburn were fun to watch. Uh, they both were just uh, very charismatic. Um, They're very. And then I love. I love the abuse that his photographer friend got. I thought that was pretty hilarious. <laughs> oh yeah, that was when he like he got the crap kicked out of him twice. It was pretty funny. Well, I, twice. Yeah, it was a great always, repeating like, tell him to leave. Like, hey, so yeah, yeah. like uh, you should you get done here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you had something yeah. to do, didn't you? Like, <laughs> he's we... <laughs> he's like, what? What do you want to fight? What do you want to do here? What the hell is going on? I, Stop I thought that was on yourself. You're yeah, tripping yeah, over yeah, my you house. come over here and just, you came here to spill things. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny. What kind of friend are you? All right, so I'm going to go uh, kind of more towards TC's point of view than John's, but there were parts yeah. that I did enjoy. Uh, I did think this is the first Audrey Hepburn movie I'd ever seen. Um, I didn't really have a desire to see any, but this one was okay. She was kind of, she seemed like she was acting like herself a lot of the times, and those times were the best parts, I think, uh, mm-hmm. where she would do like little they improv said that, things. I think they, they said that um, when they when they did her audition, they actually kept the camera rolling after uh, the director had said cut. And the director had told them to do this because they wanted to see how she acted naturally. Uh, And it was how she acted when the cameras were off that made them think that she was great for the role. I heard that too. I was actually curious if they did that with everybody they tried out or just with her because they had some type of feeling about her. Uh, yeah, I couldn't find any information. On I don't, no, no, that's interesting. I don't know. I, I think maybe because she hadn't been in a movie before. I mean, she'd been in like a television show, I believe, but I don't think this, I think this was her first major role. Yeah. Um, so maybe they were just wanted to, they were sort of worried that she might be nervous or something. So maybe they wanted to just, you know, test how she would be when she was more natural. Yeah. Right. Sort of forget about the camera. 
Yeah, yeah, or not be too nervous. But I mean, don't you kind of need to know what to do in front of the camera? I mean, it's nice to have that little talent to be fun in general, but isn't acting harder than that? I don't know. I, I she, would think so. She, yeah. I think she did. She <laughs> did a again, fine job. We knew back then, right? Yeah. Um, I don't think it wasn't Stole like she black had and a white. real complex part to play. Um, you don't you think know, so? I don't think she had kind kind of. I mean, she just she just had a to be really fr- a, a person who is busy, frustrating with her schedule, but then also just sort of be like a little girl having a great the time of her life th- for the rest of the movie. And then, and then Carter would sort of be back to being reserved and nervous. And I still, you're right though. I, th- I still think she did a pretty fine job of like um, showing the responsibility and the weight weight of it. Yeah, um, she. There were a couple parts that, like in the beginning when she was crying in her bed, I was I was laughing that entire time. I thought that was pretty f- funny <laughs> unintentionally. Um, oh, when she was yeah. having the hysterical, f- like that, that whole scene yeah. was. So silly and like unbelievable. Well, it it did seem a little over dramatic. Yeah, the guy's like, "Oh, she's um, yelling! Give her some shots! Fill her with drugs!" And then the general faints because he can't stand the sight of needles. Yep, um, oh, that was a weird one. <laughs> she's she's in hysteria. She's she, she did threaten to kill herself a bunch of times, which was I laughed at it. I don't know. It did. I thought it was funny. Yeah, it it the suicide's always for hilarious. <laughs> well, for Denny. Up is down, got a real. So, so there, there's a screaming child in the next room. So, just in case anybody is hearing that, if it's bleeding through, just no, no, you know, not so no, far. So far, uh, so she just so doesn't want to go to bed. Okay, good. Uh, bummer, uh, poor kid. And John's just yeah. shirking your parental responsibilities to sit with us and talk about that's, this movie. That's right. I was, I was the bed putter to sleeper last night, oh. or whatever you'd call the official title. I don't know. Uh, uh, but yeah, so we sort of trade off somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. You, too bad you don't have any of those drugs that the guy in this movie had. Yeah, that's right. We should have just shot her. Yeah. With a needle. You know, but then she'll climb out the window and go have the time of her life. And, well, she'll pass know, out. Nowadays, she'll pass out on a street <laughs> yeah. corner and then someone yeah. will, like, steal her or something. So I'll be like, hey, toddler, you want to come back to my house? <laughs> All right, Cabby, take her. Take this um, baby with you. Oh, no. Yeah, no, yeah. no dude, I have Bobinos. I have Bobinos wah, in my own. Wah, I don't need wah, another Bobino. <laughs> what the f***? Are you too tough? <laughs> that was the the cab driver, the cab driver that. So <laughs> maybe you didn't rewind so, that for, for those of you who, d- who didn't watch the movie included to see. She's like she gets that drug and then she like falls asleep on a park bench and then yeah. he's she's and so then bad at acting. Drunk Gregory and- Gregory Peck's character. Um, I thought she was cute, drunk. I don't know. I thought she. I yeah, wasn't... he tries to. No, I remember. He tries to dish her off. He tries to dish her off. No, I, John, I yeah, agree. Yeah. She was cute, but I don't think she was good. No, she was maybe. bad. She is very cute to look at. She is. Yeah. She's she weighs like a hundred pounds. She was mm. twenty four at the time of this. Jeez. Wow. She seems younger Looking than that good. in this movie. Yeah, yeah, she does. She does. Um, uh, but she's cute. Yeah. I don't know. The whole thing oh, yeah. with, with him picking her up though, that whole thing was <laughs> creepy. It was creepy. Well, what's he 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 didn't he was reluctant. I mean, he didn't know what to do. He didn't want to leave her there on the bench. You call the cops. What was he good? He's a good forty at that point. Thirty five. 36, maybe? I'm not sure how old he was. I, think he was, I know. I looked it up. Was I think he was 35 like, or 36. I forget. Who was it? Well, some other really famous actor was offered the part, but he thought he would be too old. Was it Cary Grant? Yeah. Yeah. Although, but then there were other there were other suggestions. They thought that he didn't want the part because the focus was too much on the princess. Um, well, initially but, they had, it was supposed to be, um, what's her name? The Diamond Woman. Who's the... Elizabeth Taylor. Yeah, she was supposed to be the woman, and <laughs> the diamond woman. She's the diamond woman, uh, <laughs> and I forget who. So the guy I think was, or it's Car- yeah, Cary Grant, and then the director was supposed to be um, the guy who did It's a Wonderful Life. Uh, what the hell is his name? Frank Capra. So they had a whole oh, different wow. group of people working on this movie initially. Yeah, that's interesting. What? What? Why the change? What? What? Well, I guess a bunch of people dropped out, but I don't know why the director dropped out. Um, I don't know. Oh, that's a good question. I think the budget was small. They they had I know they had to hire Audrey Hepburn because she was an unknown because they didn't have money. They had to do it in black and uh, white because they didn't have money. Because I think it was the newer director, the one that actually worked on it, insisted that they film the entire thing in Rome or Italy. And that was oh, wow. pricey. Well, yeah. So he kind of they sacrificed some other parts of it to to do oh, that. Oh, so they could have at that time they could have shot it in color, but they didn't. Yeah, they were initially planning wow. on doing it. They they went to black and white like in the production phase. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah. 
Apparently, like, it's cheaper, I mean, the, the, cheaper to do black Yeah, it's just interesting. There, there was this transition time where there were, you know, as part of having a cheaper budget, you would do it in black and white. Um, as opposed to like, you know, now, and unless you're trying to be really artsy, you know, you just wouldn't do a black and white film because who would want to see that? And it might be harder um, too because you have to... Um you have to light it differently, and I'm sure that type uh-huh. of lighting. Oh is, yeah, yeah. Like people aren't good at that anymore because no one. Yeah, does that's it. a good point. Yeah, 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 that's a good point, right? That's a very good. Yeah, point. Yeah, there was that uh that Coen Brothers movie that was in black and white with Billy. Right, Billy I Bob was just Thornton. thinking of that, wasn't it? Like that was pretty uh, recent. The man, the man who knew too much. Was that what it was? Called? Yeah, yeah, it was something Pi, like that. Or the man who was wasn't there. Right. Something like that. Say again, TZ. Pie. Yep, pie was black and white. Pie, pie. That was great. That was a great movie. Yeah, I, that movie was very good. Uh, but back to this back movie, to this one. which you guys yeah, don't tough. like. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh, so, so look, it's so I thought, I, just like, I'm, yeah, I, I, I like sort of, I enjoyed it. I bought it. I bought it that this guy, I like, watched was it for free it, uh, on YouTube. Yeah, me too. It was for, it was full on. We, we had a, del- thing, we had the huh? Netflix delivery, but wait, so oh, I, oh. I sort of bought, bought this idea and, and sort of enjoyed it that here's this guy who's a sort of a scoundrel and he's. He sees an opportunity to make a story and make money and to maybe get finally get out of Italy where he's kind of trapped. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the story and, is that she's the queen and he now has her at his house. Princess. Right, right. And like so he could and then he, he has his photographer buddy start taking pictures of her everywhere um, with his little lighter camera. Uh, as, that as they're going okay. about. That was very uh, confusing because yeah. he had a regular yeah, camera yeah. too. He did, but he also like you know he he wanted to get um, clandestine shots when when she might have oh. been, noticed that he was sitting there taking a picture. The end makes so more sense had, now because when he pulled yeah, the lighter out when they were like at that palace place, I thought he was just like, "Remember your first cigarette." <laughs> no, <laughs> he was. <laughs> hey, kid, don't you forget that first cigarette? Yeah, you come to me when you want cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, yes. you come, Jesus, you come were you even Papa. watching the movie? Dude, come I, on, I didn't no, know it was a camera. No, what, was, what was I supposed yeah. to do? <laughs> All right, all right. So yeah, it was a camera. <laughs> oh, you see, he's sitting there. You see, you see the little aperture. You see the little hole in it as he's like taking. And you hear a little click, click as he's taking the shot. Yeah, because cameras are the only things that have holes in them. Well, lighters normally don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. They have I was, one at the top. I was. I swear. I was paying. I was like trying to. I I didn't hate it. I thought I laughed a few parts. Did, I did it was Naomi charming. watch it with you? She did. She liked it more than I did. did she, she did, yeah. yeah. It's more yeah. of a it's more of a romantic. Well, it is a kind romantic movie, comedy. Yeah, so. and I mean, yeah. you got Gregory Peck, who is like used to be one he of the biggest is, guys. Like he is sexy. I mean, yeah. he he's like his voice. I want is, to look like him. Really, yeah. Or I want to talk like him. He's he's that like really? just. I got all that. I think it's pretty. Good. No, he kind of reminds me of like uh, John Hamm these days. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's a very good one. Yeah, and I mean, Aubrey Hepburn. Like, uh, I, as a guy, I don't find her that attractive, but I she's like a uh, fashion symbol, right? So like. Girls again, they like looking at her because she has like the new hairstyle. She's got all these like fancy oh. new clothes and stuff. Um, she seems, but she's also like like she's I, I don't know. She's more of like a girl next door pretty than a like you know model pretty. So I think maybe that's why like I don't she no she has that yeah. hourglass going pretty strong. Oh well, I yeah. guess more her face and stuff. She uh, but yeah. And, uh, well, that's yeah, a that's a does, probably a friggin' rock a corset good short haircut. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah, surprised. She, looks, she looked beautiful with that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, it made it uh, French New Wave. Yeah, this that Almost, haircut became yeah. very popular after this movie. Not so. Oh, I can bet. So, so anyway, I I really like I like the idea, and I and I and I was wondering how they're going to resolve it. I was thinking, I and I was kind of like waiting to be disappointed, like they were going to have some terrible fighting argument scene where they sort of reveal that he's just using. Uh, her I'm for not gonna story. lie. I was hoping it was her at the door. Yeah, <laughs> it was the news guy. I was like, oh, oh. he's coming back. Oh, 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 it's just a guy. Uh, just see, a boss. see, it got you yeah, a little. You see, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heartstrings with it. I, I, yeah, of course. Okay, I'm not immune. I'm well, just I'm not like, a monster. You know. Yeah, yeah, well, it might be, but you know, not all the time. No, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> not, I mean, like you know, <laughs> you know half the time I'm a monster. <laughs> let's not go over my metrics of monster here. Let's uh, let's right, steer right. it back so, to so, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, it so, got me. Yeah. It did. I thought. I thought a lot of it. Again, some of it was like, sort of like almost like. Um, funny when it was trying to be dramatic or or yeah. um and it didn't sort of work very well but i thought that um it still was pretty entertaining but i also i, I was really say. don't try <laughs> <laughs> don't speak don't speak oh, yeah don't speak i don't have any words i don't know what to say don't so, try. 
Did you like that and one or not? That's kiss. Supposed to be- that was when she was leaving the car at the end. I thought yeah, yeah, I thought was it was well moment. done. That I liked it. Moment. He yeah. he like Gregory like did this great job of like like um showing that he was really feeling emotions but he did not want to say anything. He did not know how to say anything. Mm-hmm. That was and not that was not him. Right? It's relatable. Yeah. Someone it's someone's yeah. been there, you know. I've been there before. Right. Oh, fuck, and I, I think this love. guy, I mean, he's kind of a con man and he's used to just doing whatever it takes to get done whatever he wants to get done. Uh, and, and this is like changing him. And that's kind of the cool thing about it is like, and they don't do it. They don't show the change in any really dramatic way. In a sense, it's very like, I don't know. It was very like subtly done where they don't have this big blowout. They don't have him. He never says this. Oh, I'm in love with her. Blah, blah, blah. He never says anything like that. It's all very like just implied. He never like, like, I, I really like the scene where he's talking to his camera buddy and he just won't tell his camera buddy how much he likes her now, how much he possibly yeah. loves her. He won't say it. And the camera guy just has to keep like circling around it with him until he gets it. Um, Does he and get I it thought that was eventually. Yeah, he gets it because he doesn't, he doesn't, um, even though he's telling his camera buddy, he's like, look, you can, you can sell these pictures if you want. And then he doesn't, he gives them to her as well because he recognizes how much he cares for her. Or he's the biggest pushover of all time. Well, maybe, I don't know. I, I took it to be that he, He's lucky Even he got cold coffee. You notice how they they said that cold coffee because if it was hot coffee, oh, that guy's yeah, yeah. was burning off. <laughs> <laughs> that might have been that might have been unforgivable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Original script, hot coffee, second, right, right. Second version. So look, hey, so what do you think about iced on this one? Yeah, let's <laughs> it'll be let's better do for iced. the actor. That's yeah, a good yeah, because again. Iced. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's in a point. wheelchair the rest of the movie. Yeah. Right. He's like, hey, anything for you, yeah. buddy. Third degree anything burns on my shot. waist. Yeah. Right. That's fine. I understand. But speaking but of Cary still... Grant, or sorry, not Cary Grant. Uh, what's his name? Uh, what is his name? Gregory Peck. Uh, <laughs> Gregory Peck. Goddamn. <laughs> Gary, 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 Gary Peck, huh? Greg, Gary what, Peck. What is his name? Uh, is Gregory Joffrey, Joffrey whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but so speaking of him beating up on people, he kind of beats up Aud- Audrey Hepburn's character a little bit. When they're in the cab, he grabs her and shakes the crap out of her. Oh, that was that was also kind of comical. I know. Yeah. That was that was like <laughs> again, that was yeah. And then yeah, also that, that, later when they're in the house, he's like, he tosses her out of the bed onto the couch. Like he, you know, yeah, that, that was move, funny. By the way, that I, move was that, perfect. Oh, it was so that was, good. That was hilarious. And we, and I also knew it. It's like when he found out she was the princess and Nikki's like, oh, he's going to put her back in the bed. <laughs> so he does. <laughs> Obviously. I thought he was yeah. going to like lift the couch over his head and dump her onto the bed. Right. I it thought he was so going to try the same though. move, She's but like, in oh, reverse. Come, what did she say? She said something. He's like, perfect. He was just, yeah, it was great. Yeah. She said something like she was comfortable or per, like it was nice. Because he, was he like, really yeah, tossed her up there. Like she, he did. He threw yeah. her. He flung her well. Yeah, like yeah. They practiced that for sure on yeah. mats. <laughs> yeah, it was well done. Apparently when they, yeah, were, was, when they uh, cast this, uh, uh, Gregory Peck was to be the top build in his contract, but halfway through he called his agent and argued against his agent to put Audrey Hepburn um at the top of the billing, even though she was new, because he and not only that she was new, but she was a woman, and apparently this is like unheard of. Yeah, but so she was so good halfway through making the movie that he predicted she was going to win the best actress Oscar that year, and she did. So see, she did yeah, which is crazy. Oh, so she, people must have known that they, something special was happening when they were making. Did it. they ever hook up? No, but know? they both found so Gregory Peck's uh, wife divorced him right before this movie. Um, and he took the role because he did a lot of serious stuff. He wanted to lighten up his, you know. Oh, his that's workload. terrible. But then he met um, in Rome, his like future wife, and they stayed during the filming of this movie and they stayed together until he died. And Aud- Audrey Hepburn also met, um, I don't know if it was her first one. I don't know enough about it, but she also met like a, uh, a husband at, like during the oh, film wow. of this movie. Talk about romantic oh. all the way through, huh? Yeah. Yeah, and not with yeah, each other. Come on. come on, like that's that's kind of nice. No, I, again, that's still the the way this movie was done. It was tasteful. Like they don't end up together. Yeah, it was. Mm. I thought it was really cool how they did it. I really, really liked that scene at the end where well, they're facing much, each other to, in public. Yeah, yeah, and they're talking to each other, but not really talking to each other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought that was that was like I couldn't have imagined it being resolved better. That was awesome. That was like I thought that it was, was really nice. cool. 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, so that, I mean, that's, I, cause I, I was just thinking about all the different ways it was going to like end and just being thinking, I was starting to get annoyed. Cause I was like, oh, this is going to, I'm going to get pissed off at this because he's going to quit being a queen and they're going to live happily ever after. Right. Or he'll be, he'll like discover he's got some prince ancestry or who knows what the hell. I I just was like wondering if it was like going to have some kind of happy ending. Uh, But I mean, it still like has a good ending in the sense that it tries the movie again, very subtly shows how they changed. Like she starts ordering her servants around instead of just being told what to do by them. He and he's like changed because he's like being kind, um, and so that they they like benefited from each other regardless. Which that so that still like had a kind of a positive spin to it. Yeah, yeah this is this. That's, no one's, we that's haven't mentioned this thing. yet. This is the second royalty based movie we've done in a row. Oh yeah, King's Speech followed by oh, yeah. the Queen's. Yeah, yeah, the Queen's uh, vacation. I know, and it's funny because I, I found myself sitting there being like, man, being a part of the. The royalty must be so strange. Uh, I would well, suck, kinda, apparently. Yeah. Like, we're there, like, you know, they're looking at it, they have to talk to each other a certain way. I give you permission to withdraw. Yeah. What the f*** is that? <laughs> you, I'm leaving. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, I mean, you'd have to, like, you really have to tiptoe around in uh, life with the royalty. Yeah. It was, it was interesting how they would never, they wouldn't mention the country. So she was from an unnamed country, which made me, like, wonder for a while, did I miss it? Is this England? Where is she from? She but sounded I think English, was, right? Well, yeah, but it was very purposefully that the, the country was never named. Mm-hmm. So she was, she huh. was never named from any specific place. And the um, thing is, too, so in the beginning when they were doing their, her tour, they showed the UK. And does that mean that she's not from the UK because she's touring Europe? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't think they, I think the really point matter, was they didn't, she's not really from anywhere. It's, I mean, it, it, you know, it wasn't the point of where she was from. So, yeah. But. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I think you guys like this movie more than you admit. Nah, no, nah, we're just we're just being <laughs> nice to you, John. <laughs> oh, okay, that's yeah, nice. I appreciate. I mean, it. I'm not being nice. I just. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would I would recommend it to older women. <laughs> Maybe I wouldn't subject my mother to this movie. Uh, I thought, as far as as far as romantic comedies go, which I normally dislike, I like this. Yeah, I, I usually I don't like romantic don't comedies, and well, uh, they they are usually worse than this movie. That's for sure. Look, I'm a sap. All right, I'm a sensitive idiot, and I should like this movie. <laughs> I couldn't. Yeah, stand it. you're in a bad mood. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but three times in a bad mood. Yeah, I don't know. About Once that. I could see. Uh, no, it was a bad week. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, you're getting over Wassiper still. Wassiper still just deep in your brain. You can't That's true. get through it. it. Yeah, yeah. Wassiper is tainting my transition. viewing experiences. <laughs> right. <laughs> there's no color. There's no Indian. What? What is this? I don't like. Where's this. the head chopping? I see no head Where's chopping. There's no blood. There's no Indian. There's no. There's no nothing. mustaches. Not a single <laughs> mustache. I, what do I have for this movie? It's black and white. It's all Jesus. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, no albums. songs, no music. There was <laughs> no music, music was there, right? Oh, speaking of the music, oh, music, that's one of my least favorite parts of the movie. Sorry to say, if the only music that, that existed in the world music. was big band music, I wouldn't like music. <laughs> I, I apologize for being negative, but yeah, I really don't like the type of music. It sounds cheap. And they had that like weird montage. An old person would like they... be shuffling really slowly and like snapping their fingers to it. Yeah, they had that weird montage scene where they were like playing big band music and then everybody was talking, but you just couldn't hear them. They was were that in the during court the party? Whatever, when they got in trouble. No, when they got in trouble. And it's like the, oh. they're at the police station and, and they. Oh, they talk, right, and, right, right. Yeah, they're playing the music behind that wall. Like, this, this she, thing. she like, went on a, a murderous rampage on a moped. <laughs> I know, almost <laughs> killed people on yeah. the moped. <laughs> she was having the best time of her life. Yeah, yeah, killing yeah. people. She, and he's like, I'm with the press. Died. And everybody's like, oh, okay. Oh, I, I guess with the, the press. It's all good. It's a white man I guess with the, the press. The press meant go. something then. I don't know. This uh, this movie popularized the Vespa, believe it or not. Oh, did it? Yeah. So the Vespa oh. started being sold in like 1946. And it wasn't internationally popular until right when this movie came out. Uh, not only because they were having fun on it in the movie, but it was the poster of the movie. 
when they were advertising. Yeah. It. So, it, so I just got like a nice mental image of the CEO of Vespa at the time with like suspenders and his hands in them with the cigar. Yeah. Just laughing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice. I told you this would work. Drive it dangerously, exactly. everybody. All we needed was Hollywood, baby, and we're in. Yeah. We'll sell them. Uh, that's 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 great. That's nice. smart. Yeah. So I don't know how are we gonna stretch this into an hour now. I don't know. I got some stuff. I mean, there's I, a we can talk about the parts that were pretty funny. Uh, this the I, th- I I still think I mean the camera cameraman abuse was awesome. I laughed pretty hard during those two yeah, sequences, yeah. and even harder during the second one. It was so, <laughs> it was so like oh here it comes. It was yeah. awesome. Yeah, you know it was. Coming. It was the same one too. It was spill trip. Right, like yep. your pants are wet and you're on the floor. No, it was, uh, it was and, uh, and, uh, <laughs> like uh, what's it called? There's the the, the Stooges, it's the Three Stooges bit. Yeah, all it was. Of a sudden. Yeah, it definitely was. It seemed more painful yeah. than those, though. It seemed like they were really pushing this guy around because <laughs> he really ate. Yeah, know, he really. Ate. <laughs> <laughs> he did. I loved how he would like almost try to fight him back too. Yeah, <laughs> at like, the end, he's like slapped him in the neck. It was kind of a yeah. weird thing. Yeah. It might have been real. No, he was pale, hell, dude. It looked real. We're yeah. acting. <laughs> yeah. Don't kill me. <laughs> I got a wife too, you know. Oh, I, I did one thing. I uh, I know when they did the hand thing where you put the hand in, your hand's supposed to get chopped off if you tell a lie. Oh, the truth oh, yeah, um, face or whatever any, it was. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, Stone of truth. Her, re- her reaction was real because he didn't tell her he was going to do that where he oh, like, pulls awesome. his hand out in the sleeve. So that was like her really screaming. That's, That's pretty so good. good. That's funny. Because he, yeah, he said he saw Red Skelton do that at one point. So he like, he did that to her and she really freaked out. Oh, wow. <laughs> do that there or uh, just in general? That's awesome. What's that? D- did Red, what did you say? Red Skelton? Oh, I don't know there. It was just a bit. Uh, I don't know exactly where he saw it or if it was in the exact same context. Uh, but um, but, but the, yeah. uh, the barbershop scene at that was pretty funny. That's the... He just kind of grabbed her hair. And oh yeah, yeah, it. yeah. It, that was that was funny. Where he was like, "Hair, hair," yeah. and he was all all grumpy about yeah. the whole thing. Show me and, where. and then he, yeah, yeah. That was I thought that was pretty funny too. And then he's all like thrilled because she looks so beautiful with it short. Yeah, um, I thought that was I thought that was pretty funny. She looks so good with it short. Yeah, yeah. Better. Well, she yeah, has I'm a beautiful big neck. Audrey Hepburn fan now. <laughs> she, yeah, her neck is really long and skinny. Yes, yes, but her face isn't like weirdly shaped because of it. You know how sometimes like you'll get like a like a box face on a <laughs> on a long neck, <laughs> one of them box right? face girls. Yeah, yeah, uh, you know, like there's no, there's no, you know, it's all neck and no face. <laughs> Very no. evenly proportioned, like Beaker. <laughs> yeah, like Beaker. <laughs> <laughs> He's a carrot of a man. That's some funny stuff. All right, moving on. <laughs> no, I don't know those people exist in real life. If you know one, let me no. say though, I'd be interested. Yeah, oh, I'll I'll never, I don't think photos. I've ever seen. I'll give you a long. I'm sure. I'm there. sure if you Google be- Beaker in real life, you'll see some things. Oh, that sounds actually kind of scary. I don't. I don't want to see that. <laughs> I love Beaker. Beaker's awesome. <laughs> Beaker is awesome. Uh, I uh, love Beaker. After she gets her hair cut, there's a scene where. Uh, Gregory Peck is trying to steal a camera off of a little girl's neck. Oh, that one yeah, was a little was weird. Yeah, what was that about? That was so <laughs> well, weird. That was, that the was a little weird. Thing, dude. He's like I, again, I and I think it. I, I thought it. It did a good job of showing just kind of what a con artist he is. What how how selfish he is at that point. Um, but I didn't understand gonna, where he was going with it yet. Well, he wa- he wanted to see. He was going to steal his camera from this girl so he could take pictures, so he could get the, right. Of course, you know, so he could sell them. But right. like I wasn't quite with it at the time, and I was, like I kind of came into the that scene where he's just like he's like ripping the damn thing off the girl's neck. Yeah, she's got to be what like, like no, ten years old. No. She's, like, she's like, come uh, on, teacher, give me the teacher. camera, <laughs> give me the yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that was a weird, it's very stuff. strange, different times, yeah. I guess. Yeah, yeah, that as well. I mean, probably a good point. I mean, you, you'd never do that uh, these days unless you didn't care that you were going to get end up being like uh, uh, thrown in jail and yeah. 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 But I don't think if you were uh, Gregory Peck, you'd be worried about getting thrown in jail. You could just smooze, smooze your way out of it. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. dear. I didn't. I didn't know I what I was doing. I'm from, I'm no from the press. <laughs> I'm from the press. Okay. Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, they get a free Would pass you? with the, yeah. from the I'm press. With the, yeah, that's all you have to say. I'm with the American press. And, but you almost like, just oh. kill people. Yeah, but I write for newspapers. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. And she doesn't even. She's like, well, yeah, but she's with you, so fine, sure. Yeah. Uh. One other thing I had a question of when, on that scene when she was getting her, when he's kind of stalking her right before she got her haircut, he buys something. A melon. Is it a melon? He, 
It's a gourd, like a pumpkin. It kind sort of looks of like thing. a medicine ball. No, uh, it's a, it a, yeah, it was a, some kind of like, uh, you know, I don't know what they call it, gourd. It's like, you know, squash, like a pumpkin. Something. I, I, I think he just bought it because some guy was hassling me. He's like, look, I'm trying to stalk somebody here. <laughs> you're, you're interfering with my stalking. If you just shut up and go away, give me the pumpkin. Yeah, <laughs> give me the pumpkin. Give me that pumpkin. I'm going over here. Uh, so when. When she gets arrested by all, when she gets arrested after the Vespa thing, they get out of uh, getting tried. I guess they go straight to trial in Italy and they went to trial. They got out. Well, I didn't know they go to trial so much as you. I thought you just had everybody in the room that was mad at you telling them, hey, they did this. That's it. But did they and then, tell oh, her that she so, was the so queen? Not only, so I, I, no, no, no. I think I also forget. Not only did he say they were in the press, but he said they were getting married. Um so they were on their... I oh, think yeah, because that was yeah, a pretty right. good musical cue when it goes like... Dur, 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 for yeah, like yeah. two seconds. And right, right. Like, oh, I get it. So, yeah, so so, he, so then they were like, oh, all right, go ahead and murder us, Rampage, you know. We understand. Oh. Uh, if, I thought if it was because married, to get out of it, they told everybody in that room, because you couldn't hear the dialogue, that she was the queen, because that's how I... When they left, there was like a fat, hairy... There was like the most stereotypical Italian guy in a movie, the fat... Harry backed guy with a wife beater, uh, happy and just kisses her right on the mouth. No, they did not tell her that she was the queen because he would not have revealed. Yeah, that he, he wouldn't that. have been able to take go off anywhere with her anyway. They would have like kept yeah. her there if they found out. No, I think he just they they had some story about how she they were getting married and that you know that's yeah, part of what you do. Face You're crazy in love too. Or, so whatever he told them was yeah. was obviously like she knew it was BS. Yeah. So it wasn't truth because her face kind of like she looked like, oh, here we go. He's on one now. And, and you know, those Italians, they love a wedding. I don't know. Yeah. Who doesn't hey, love that, a wedding? Like spaghetti. I mean, f- I mean, they're on to something. <laughs> uh, what happens after that? They go to the boat party. Yep. Dancing with oh, the barber. The boat party. Yeah. The with the Secret Service yep. Caesar. Yeah. So the, how did the Secret Service know she was going to be there? They just randomly Didn't showed just up. Secret Service, they're everywhere. Well, yeah, they were they're everywhere, but they were also like that's not that was like within viewing distance of her where she was staying. So they probably had people like just oh, sort was of it? planted all around. Yeah, because remember when when she saw she was looking out her window and she saw the dancing. That there. was where that was. I couldn't tell. Yeah, I believe it was. Okay, that makes um, sense. So that's yeah. So she got exactly so what, she what she wanted. So they yeah, yeah. right. That's cool. So yeah, I, I, I assume that that's why they had like one of the guys there, uh, and he's like, "Oh, there she is. Let's go two get all the guys here, and we'll just, yeah. Oh, yeah. There were two of them there, and they're like, is that her? Yeah, it's her.' And that was kind of scary. When he's like, "You're going to dance to the entrance." Yes. It's like, oh, f- <laughs> not the right guy. Not the guy to f- with. Yeah. And then <laughs> Joe. No, yeah, yeah, Joe. Not the guy. I love how they start knocking people into the water. Yeah. Yeah. That was fun, that was fun. on the fight scene. There, it's great. <laughs> Great, and then she jumps right into yeah, yeah to escape the dude. She also hits someone yeah. over the head with a guitar, which is pretty funny. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. They're, they're he's like running out. around with the guitar around his neck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and these are all at the end. This is all at the end, folks. This is the wrap up. Yep, this is the, the, the of the movie. The entire movie like, considers is, her escaping, running around, then, terrorizing the city, and going home. <laughs> and then like one final yep. blast. Yeah, yep. that's it. Or her first, first and final, right? Number one and number last. <laughs> Yep. Number one and number last. <laughs> <laughs> number um, only. Uh, only one. Uh, this is the only time she's going to live in her whole life. And she's going to she's gonna have a real good time thinking about it the rest of her life. Yeah, that's kind of how it works. Yeah. Though, huh? Probably be in some arranged marriage yeah. with somebody Oof. less less like Gregory Peck. No, well, now we're back to the Indians. It's <laughs> 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 watching for all over again. <laughs> we never saw arranged marriage. They they got to the the guys always got to pick their girl after they saw her washing clothes. Uh, the cigar <laughs> wife didn't look like she wanted to get married. Oh yeah, uh, yeah she was pissed. Right, she didn't. She was like not smiling. She didn't say I do. Uh, Nagma, don't. Nagma didn't really want to get married. She was really. Yeah. She, she she didn't want to get married. Wait, was that to bald guy to originally bald guy. or no? Bald guy. Uh, back to bald guy. Oh, oh. I love it. Yeah. Back to bald guy. Yeah, it's what he calls <laughs> I don't. I don't. I mean, that, was, that, that that scene was so early. I don't remember their wedding scene at yeah, all. I just remember early. like it happened. Anyways, it also happened very anyway, quickly. That we are going to talk very long about bald. I guy. digress as usual. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> some other bald guy. Yeah, but so Gregory Peck is beating up the police officers, and yeah, he does like they. All, he gets away does with a pretty good job much. too. 
Yeah, he does a pretty good job. Yeah, he he is way good. Good. So, the nice thing the the barber helps out. There are other yeah. all the dancers start helping His out. His photographer friend um, helps out. Uh, yeah, Audrey yeah. Helps but also out. also yeah, she actually manages does to get badass. some good shots. So she kicks him in the she kicks him in the groin and then punches him in the stomach <laughs> and then like jumps into the water. I thought that was pretty bad. I'm like, that's a down ass yeah. chick. Yeah. And then they they swim for their life, like you said, and uh, they kiss each other. And luckily, we don't mm-hmm. see them swimming. They just kind of end up in a nice place. Yeah, that'd be yeah. that nobody's at. Like come there on, were yeah. there were quite a lot of really jerky cuts in the film. I mean, just maybe again because of their budget or whatever, but they had to do some real edits where it was like yoink. Um, yeah, and, and various times in the films where it was like this real jerk cut where I think they just had to like, oh, we'll just we'll just splice these together. All right, and then <laughs> two hours pass. <laughs> Boom. Next. Yeah, <laughs> yeah um, a lot of old movies. Hard to hard yeah. to snip those pieces of reel. That's true. <laughs> I assume you've never done it. <laughs> yeah, I, right. So, John, I wrote down here: Queen meeting, friend plays with lighter? Question <laughs> mark. <laughs> I wanted I love to get it. to the bottom it's of like, that one. Here's the lighter, Queenie. <laughs> pick, you know, pick, pick, pick. <laughs> we had fun, didn't we? Yes, Question we did. mark. Yeah. So <laughs> that's awesome. All I got for it is so far is uh, her ice cream never melts. Oh, it doesn't. Ah, uh, so cute. Uh, it's gelato. Uh, it's not ice cream. <laughs> yeah, gelato doesn't melt. Oh, it doesn't melt, huh? Okay. I don't know. Gelato <laughs> still melts. Yeah, it's I have the exact no idea. same thing. It just has uh, eggs in uh, it instead, or in addition uh, to. Oh, it. They, maybe the eggs hold it together better. Oh, maybe know. yeah. Probably not. Uh, yeah. So there's no so more. They like, wake up. They wake up head to toe. I got that as a note. That's yeah, very then, polite. So I go, I go, the hey, oh, still Seinfeld. I go, Seinfeld <laughs> stole the banter based off of this movie right here, head yeah. to toe. <laughs> made it all up from that little scene. Um, <laughs> what the f*** is with the camera and the girl? <laughs> That's what I would have wrote. Which camera? Because of that scene. No, the scene where he's ripping oh, the camera Oh, when, when he's trying to steal oh, the yeah. little <laughs> Rob from yeah. the little school yeah. girl. My last note is lackluster compared to what we have recently watched. Oh, Yeah. Yeah. Those are my five notes. Yeah. <laughs> my last note is I don't know. he walks out. Period. He does. <laughs> Great. Thank God I he remember walks that. Away. Oh, thank God. Yeah. I was like, how did it end? Oh, yeah. He walks out. Oh, the yeah. Camera he walks for a out. <laughs> I thought uh, that was great. I thought it was really well done. Very subdued. It was. Another positive thing oh, yeah. I'll say is that the, the buildings they shot it in were pretty crazy. Yeah, uh, really cool historical looking buildings with very high ceilings lots of, and art. Lots of cherubs. It was a ninety four percent on Rotten Tomatoes. So. This is a classic TC. This is a know. bona fide yeah. classic. I know. I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. So might as well insult America. Yeah. Might as well just keep you know looking like a dummy. But not every <laughs> movie is for everybody. Like we're gonna get no, to no, no. I know. This is yeah. Cool stuff. I I think I think for me it's just I normally really dislike this kind of a romantic comedy thing. I'm sort mm-hmm. of annoyed by them, having had to watch many of them with my wife. Um, and and so I I was really surprised because this did a lot of things that were unexpected and were done really well. Yeah, because it was the um, first one. Maybe <laughs> it yeah. kind of reminded but me again. of Casablanca. <laughs> Like the ending, uh, how like they yeah, yeah. Well, the idea that it's like they they don't end up together. They they but they like we're they're better off for their relationship right. or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And we're gonna wa- end up watching that one too. Yes, right. That's got to be in there. It's, it's in there. I mean, that'll be good. Yeah. I hope. Have you seen it? I don't think I've seen it. <laughs> you might hate no. it. It's it's not it's not terribly unsimilar it's, it's, to this one. It's it's like this, but without the comedy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, great. No comedic relief. That's a pretty good review. Pretty good That's review, pretty John. Good. It's like Roman Holiday without the comedy. John. <laughs> That's John's critique. Yep. And instead of uh, Gregory Peck, it's Humphrey Bogart. He looks like he melted yeah. in the microwave. Oh, jeez. <laughs> He's microwave melted. <laughs> uh, I hope we don't sound like assholes, but... Uh, I do. This is fun. Yeah, I, mean, I think, I think you guys fun, do. So. I, I, no, no, I, I don't know. You guys, if, if you didn't enjoy it, you didn't enjoy it. You're not, you're not like saying it's crap or anything no. like that. You're saying you didn't no, enjoy it. Right? That's like, not you know. At all. No, I didn't think it was poorly done. No. And it's, yeah. it's hard to judge too because it was so old, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I also am like predisposed not to like, I just don't like those kind of older movies too. I just, black and white specifically? Thing. Yeah. Black and white specifically. No. Yeah. I don't know why. It's not as good as color. That's why everything's no. color now. That's true. Yeah. But I should respect, respect it just because, I don't know, whatever. 
No, yeah. no. I mean, I still, I, I even wouldn't mind seeing it again just because I think it was so well done for what it was doing. And they could have gone like, I don't know, they could have done so many things just to please the audience and they didn't yeah. um, as far as how they worked it out at the end. So I I'll really like that. Four times well. to watch it twice. <laughs> <laughs> no, it'll be six times, won't it? If you get the same. This, this, one, this one didn't have a commentary, did it, Denny? So Math you didn't have commentary. No commentary. Uh, they don't even have I wonder this. if that's going to be a factor of like less, in, in, uh, less info. Yeah. Well, I yeah. do have some info here. This is straight from the internet. Let's hear it. So this is the second movie we've seen where the screenwriter um, was blacklisted. Oh, right, right. Uh, yeah. And this one was one of the, uh, the Hollywood 10. Is that what it was called? Uh, mm -hmm. The first 10 people to get fired uh, from the industry, like blacklisted from right. Hollywood. His name, his name was not on the credits at all. Yeah. And it, was, it wasn't only until much later that they, like, reinstated his name. Yeah, he won it, the it, best, uh, best screenplay award, but right. he didn't get it. So it, right. they also so, just made a movie about him. His name, name is Dalton Trumbo. Uh, they made a movie a couple years ago hmm. about him. Brian Cranston plays him. Oh, right. I remember uh, that. I never saw it, but it got pretty right. good reviews. Uh, but anyway, yeah. so yeah, another one with a uh, blacklisted screenwriter. Um. Yeah, apparently, wow. so his Trumbo's son's dying wish is to uh, present, for, for the Academy to present it to his father, actually, and they did. Um, I can't find the date, but they did after he died. Wow. Oh. After his son died after or after the father died? died? And he's, he was oh. already dead. Oh. Damn. Yeah. That's uh, pretty crazy. Yeah. Dying and not having that as like a... Yeah, memory. and even just like the son of the person not knowing. Yeah, it's a long time to go by. Yeah. He must have given up at that point. His friend uh, Ian McLellan Hunter is the, the one who got the credit for the screenplay initially. Um, uh. And the credit was corrected to Trumbo in 2002, nearly 50 years after the original release. Jesus. Wow, that's a long, long time. time. I kind of want to learn more about this whole blacklisting thing that happened in the 50s. It seems like it affected... The McCarthyism? So yeah, it seems like I mean, a uh, common thing. There's uh, Good Night and Good Luck. I haven't... There's a lot of good movies about it now and a lot of writing about it, too, uh -huh. because it was a crazy, crazy thing. How long um, did it last? It lasted yeah. like 15 years, right? Yeah. Uh, next movie it's we have, the, I'm sure we're going to a couple scare. more that I'll look into it and we can talk about yeah, it more. Yeah, good, good point. Um, yeah, what was else? there like a group... Is there a group for them? Like, we are the blacklisters. <laughs> like Hi, I was blacklisted hashtag. in April. Hi, Tom. Hi. <laughs> hey, Tom. Yeah, hey, Tom. What, what hey, did you do I that you didn't get credit for? Uh, I didn't do anything, you know, really. Oh, well, I kind of wrote something pretty friggin' prolific. <laughs> They're all from Boston. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's you a good know, piece of trivia. Pretty about, important. Yeah, go. Here's a good piece of trivia about Trumbo. He, uh, the reason the blacklisting thing ended is because he wrote the screenplay to Exodus. And uh, Michael or uh, Kirk Douglas helped him push his real name through when that was getting nominated for all these awards and stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. So he uh, was able to like be like legitimized again because of that. Yep, and that's when they stopped. They started taking people's names off the list and started kind of like like you know removing the <sighs> whole thing, tear down the wall. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. That is crazy. It's it's probably it's like unthinkable now, right? Kind of. I mean, what, what would it be now? Yeah, I don't know. Like ISIS uh, members socialists. or something? <laughs> well, or if you're, I mean, a lot of people, it, it's still not, like if you throw the word socialist around, but it's still not. So it, yeah, you're right. It would be more like, like Russia then was the enemy, right? So that mm -hmm. was, that was the way. And then there were like these real assholes who like played upon that so they could get power. Uh, so like McCarthy and, and whatever, like they just played upon people's fears so that they could rise to power and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And try and also, you know, that's like people like they call them demigods, like Hitler does this. And a lot of people say Trump does it um, where you just sort of like, you know, let's worry, get worried about the immigrants or uh, whatever it is that just let's all be afraid so that I can do whatever I want with my power. Uh, yeah. But uh, anyway, yeah, so it's it's pretty scary stuff. Yeah. 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 I, I meant more like towards for America. It's it's not crazy, I guess. You're right. Because like North Korea does it still. Yeah, but it'd be scary. Like, I think if, if someone like Trump gets elected, he's made every indication that he wants to blacklist people that don't like him. 
He wants to yeah, forbid newspapers to talk to, to him that don't like him. I mean, that's crazy. Yeah. That's just he, crazy. You know, I mean, so Let's he's, get political. He, Let's get real political. Sorry. Don, it's like <laughs> I'm Snoop, just saying. It's, it's Donald Trump. Yeah. <laughs> it's the, the night of the debates here tonight. <laughs> yeah. but, um, it is. We're, we're like, we're, we're talking them. over them right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. How much we're, we we're literally how political can we be? We're bitching about them, well, but not even I, paying attention at all. I'm I'm scared to watch them. I couldn't I couldn't stand to watch yeah. them. I, I hate watching them because there's too many so goddamn nervous. commercials anyway. Oh, yeah. there's well, this these are commercial free. Oh, are they? At least tonight. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, well but, so last few <laughs> facts about this movie. Um, it got nominated for a ton of uh, Oscars. It was nominated for um, best picture, best actor in a supporting role, Eddie Albert. Best Director, Best Writing Screenplay, Best Cinematography, Best Art Direction, and Best Film Editing. Wow. And it won Best Lead Role, Best Writing, and uh, Best Costume Design, Black and White. All right. Well, ah, good for Eddie for getting nominated. That goes, that goes, goes upon your point earlier, Danny, that uh, it is very hard, Black and White. Yeah. We've got, uh, got people winning awards specifically for Black and White. Well, I think oh, there yeah. was a period of time where they had Black and White and color films, and they considered the cinema doing the cinematography for them different enough Separate. where they had two yeah. different categories for them. That's that awesome. Makes sense. Yeah. Let's, there you go. So that yeah. was this period of time, difficult. apparently. Yeah, the set direction was also Black and White. Cinematography is Black and White. Costume design, Black and White. That's uh. pretty badass. Huh. So, yeah. It sucks. This movie <laughs> sucks. <laughs> and it was, yeah, sure. so, um, the American Film Institute ranked it the number four greatest romantic comedy of all time. Well, I got to get my head sorted out then. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, I don't know. As far as romantic comedies go, Yeah, what's your I favorite romantic comedy, highly. do you see? Do you have one? Well, no, it's funny because, I mean, it, it reminds me now, like, uh, you know, you've seen the Before Sunset or Before Sunrise and Before Sunset. Oh, no. no. I have not. Well, that's uh, very much this kind of movie, right? It's set Is in it? Specific, I didn't know, I didn't know well, it was set a comedic. in France. It's very oh, specific. Right. Uh, there's very much like a, um, you know, they meet, begin, they don't know each other, they're strangers, and they fall in love, but then they have to go their separate ways because uh -huh. life doesn't allow them to be at the same place, same time, that sort of thing. Did so there's like that? that whole deal. They, they pretty much go through the city, and they do it. So I did very much... Those movies reminded me of this, so you can see where they got it from. So, did, did you like those um, ones or no? I did like those ones because I'm a softie. Oh, but they had you know color, color. France, they were more modern. Th those were more, more modern. modern. I mean, it was like you know, what was like, like Ethan Hawke and they're both Ethan Hawke. Who else? Yeah, he plays. Yeah, yeah. Julie it Delpy. Was, it was, it was Julie the girl. Delpy. Julie Delpy. Who's the girl? Julie, Julie Delpy. Delpy. Yeah, no idea Delpy. who that is. Yeah. She's uh she did some show with Chris Rock not too long ago, um, but uh, uh, yeah, so, so they meet the first one they meet and then they go away and then the second one they come back and those <laughs> within the movie and the first one they're like in X amount of years come back to France and maybe we'll meet up again and then so they do and of course right. they, they both show and then there's the second movie. Nice, oh, interesting. Yeah, it was. It's not. It wasn't bad. I mean, it wasn't great either. But it's you know, it's typical romantic comedy. Well, I think show. like so, Harry met when Harry met Sally, being like the iconic one that I that was really good liked. One. I liked that one. Yeah, kind of. I really like that. I don't know how if it's dated well. I don't know if it's on the top two fifty. I don't either. know where it is. Yeah, uh, I do not know. I think this but, is the only um, Audrey Hepburn movie we're going to be watching. Um, really? Yeah. Surprisingly, I'm kind of surprised at that. Yeah. Not not the only Gregory Peck film, no, I'm sure. No, To Kill a Mockingbird is definitely on there. Um, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Maybe some other ones. That's a good one. It is good. He's more good looking than he is good, but he's pretty good. <laughs> well, I think sure he, he, had a, he was like a straight man kind of role. He really didn't show much. And I actually thought he did a good job of that. Like he, he did a good job of like that he's a tough guy. He's not going to show his emotions kind of. Right. He's very yeah. stoic. Yeah. 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 Uh well let's uh let's wrap it up huh I got I got nothing else I got nothing That's else okay. either yeah we barely made this it is, an this hour is, we didn't even make an hour it's fifty one uh, minutes we don't uh, we don't have to yeah, no worries we gave him a lot with the King's speech we got like an, an hour and a half of uh, rambling on that one oh because well, we were a hammer <laughs> yeah. yeah but uh, <laughs> I don't know if you could tell folks but that one was uh not a sober episode. Yeah, you guys were hammered and John was tired and well, grumpy. Yeah, it was a great yeah, combo. Sounds a good Dude, combination. I'm going to sleep. You guys are <laughs> telling me. Old man, you yeah. kids. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Which yeah. one's coming up next, Danny? Uh, Castle in the Sky. It's uh, a Castle Studio Ghibli sky. movie. I'm looking forward to this one. 1986 movie. So, uh, 
Studio Ooh, Ghibli. Oh, this is going to be good. This is uh, I like this. It's a it's yeah, a, Japanese animation. Animation. Yeah. Um directed by Hayao Miyazaki. Um I think he does most of the uh Studio Ghibli movies. Yeah. Have you guys ever seen his Studio Ghibli movie? No, oh, yeah. I don't think so. Howl's Moving Castle. Um, Spirited Away. Uh, Spirited Away. Princess, which that one might be on here as both well. Both of them right? are on here, yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Princess uh, Mononoke. So that, oh, yeah, I got yeah, some I like learning that. to do, huh? Yeah. They're, they're yeah, you'll, you'll, this. you'll like it. They are. They are. They're odd. There's, but, there's, well, they're not odd. There's just there's a lot of... Um, more mythology and stuff that's very um, Japanese. So yeah, they're yeah and you know what? It's a family cool. movie. It can't be that bad. Yeah, no, no, it's not necessarily bad. It's just really, it's diff- very different in yeah, places. Right. Um, so it's actually that's part of what's really cool about it. So sh- are we going to watch this with subtitles or dubbed? That's my question. Oh, I I don't know. I would probably shoot for subtitles because that's more the way the film was originally intended. But it has Mark yeah, Hamill. Then you get- Oh, really? And it has Anna Paquin. You, doesn't it sound more like authentic, uh, don't you think, when you get the sounds that yeah, they wanted in it? Yeah, some of these movies, the, the synchronization of the dialogue to the mouth, like Japanese animation, they kind of just like flap their mouths up and down. Yeah, yeah. I, and it's like you almost feel like you miss it, yeah. but I don't know. Um, it's tough. Because I, I think sometimes, too. Do they change anything else? Do they change anything else Yeah, well, anything I, th- else oh, I think they'll, the what, what they'll do, what they'll do is they'll probably modify the dialogue to try to fit the voice as opposed to just being able to write it out, mm-hmm. which I think might mean that if they're writing out the subtitles, it might be a, a truer translation. True. Um, uh, right. But I'm just making that up right now. Well, I mean, that has to be a factor. Yeah. I, don't I mean, know. you can't do, have it. I yeah. think some, all right, so what, what, what do you guys want to do? So my, my preference would be to... <sighs> Watch with well, subtitles. Well, Denny, you, you, you can watch with them on and then off, you know, because you're Because you're going to watch it twice. Uh, yeah. yeah. And then you're going to do a commentary one. <laughs> maybe maybe, maybe when, when you watch it, I'll watch. do it with the dubbed without it, and then I'll do the commentary with the subtitles. Exactly, with the subtitles. See, See now you're right, right. There we go. And we all win. So <laughs> you just watch it with subtitles. Yeah. I think, yeah, that or, I mean, again, if I'm watching it with my wife, she'll probably not want to read while she watches it. So mm-hmm. we might end up watching it dubbed. Um, yeah, my brother yeah. always says that too. He's like, I'm not going to read something while I'm watching a movie. Move. No, I'm watching next. a movie. I'm not next. reading here. It's not a yeah, book. Next. <laughs> I get used to it, though. It just becomes part of the, you, like, you train yourself oh, yeah. with the subtitles. I don't, I don't And if you don't do it, you miss out on tons of good movies. That's true. Right, right. That's true. Um, well, yeah. So, yeah, I, I think it's fine either way. I don't think it, we have to really necessarily coordinate it. Uh, Mark, Mark Hamill's an awesome voice actor. When have so, we yeah. ever coordinated otherwise? <laughs> Besides on Monday to do well, this. <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be texting you at 15 minutes before the start, being like, oh, I'm almost done. Almost done. Uh, hold on. I almost got another uh, 20 or so hold odd on. minutes here. Oh, he's going to leave her. Uh, yeah. He's gonna, No, he's not uh, going to uh, leave uh, her. Uh, oh, and, he, and he's dead. And he's dead. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> what movie are you watching, dude? What do you mean? Number 243. No, we're on 44. God damn it. <laughs> You guys got two more hours? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder when that's going to happen for the first time. <laughs> uh, I mean, we're pretty good. We're pretty good. At, we're, we usually say yeah, yeah. So so next. far we've we've been able to do things in a proper sequence. I think we'll probably be yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. We yeah plenty plenty of time to go though, guys. Plenty of time. So yeah. we're doing yeah. this in a week from now. So we got a full week to watch this. And yes. On like yeah, three days. Yeah, we're not doubling up for us. Yes. Uh, Cool. Nice. So, hey, thanks for listening. Uh, if you want to check out our website and look at the list of movies, uh, go to mission250filmcast.com. Email us at mission250filmcast at gmail.com. Um, and uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks, yeah, guys. Check out the podcast at wherever you get your podcasts. Your favorite uh, make sure and subscribe writer. and rate. Yep. Sus- yep. There you go. Subscribe Good job, John. And- yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. Every episode, every episode, that's the goodbye. <laughs>